Hey everybody. I'm gonna turn it on and get situated before everybody joins. Give y'all some time to get in here. Pardon me if you see my, my arm. I've got pulling up my other one on my iPad so I can see the comments. Okay. So I'm gonna give y'all guys a few minutes to join and then we'll get started. And I apologize if you hear anything in the background squeaking. That will be my husband playing with our new puppy. We have a new puppy, so I'm trying to keep him entertained with toys. I think he's gonna make his debut. Hang on. You may see a puppy pop up in here in a Hello. second. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a few more minutes to join in and then I'll get started. Can everybody hear me okay? Just comment, let me know you can hear me. Actually, if you want, tell me where you're from and we'll see where everybody's from. I'm from Tennessee, by the way, so if I have an accent, I do apologize. I'm a country girl. I think you just flip your phone. So if, I think I have it in, in landscape, so just flip your phone. If you've got the new update on the Periscope, it should be okay. New Jersey, Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, my parents are in Florida right now and I'm a little jealous of them. They may be tuning in. Um, Tennessee, yes, I got another Tennessee person. Bells, it goes smaller. Okay, well that's probably because my tripod. I've got it set to a certain way with the tripod, so I can't move my phone, I apologize. So if it's hard to see, I'm still working with the tripod to see what I like. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one with an accent, thank you, I feel better. Um, but with the tripod, you're probably going to see it in the picture a little bit. I'm still adjusting to see what I like, so y'all just be patient with me. I may move it a little bit if I need to. Can you see everything okay? Perfect. Okay, good. I'm going to give everybody a few more minutes. I started early because I was not sure how this was going to work. This is like my second periscope. We did one last night with my dog. And the internet didn't work very well, so I had to kind of tweak everything today. Yes, a seven girls have accents, and they're pretty strong. I, I actually went to New York when I was little, like middle school, and I got lots of comments from my accent. My mom probably remembers that. She's in. Oh, hey, Rachel. I'm so excited to see some of my friends from the community here. Let's see who else joins in. Towards the paint, yes, I can. Let me. Is that better? I apologize. Is that an angle? This is the best I could do for right now with my. <laughs> There's my dad. Everybody, say hello to my dad. There's not telling what he's gonna say in here. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for him. Dad, no rude comments, no silly jokes. Don't embarrass me. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got my iPad actually set up in front of me, so go balls. <laughs> How did you say you can flip the screen? Uh, it, you can usually just turn your phone. That should help. Um, if that doesn't, it may just be the way that I've got my tripod set up. Um, again, I'm new at this whole tripod thing, so... I'm trying to see how I like it. I'm, I may end up getting a different one if I keep doing this, but we'll just see. My husband says I need a better one. <laughs> So what I'm going to do, <laughs> thanks mom, thanks mom, I really appreciate that. Okay, so I'm going to give a few more minutes for everybody to join, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some of my supplies and what I like to use. Um, I just started Bible journey probably about, gosh, five, five, four or five months ago, um, and I absolutely love it. It's, for me, it's, everybody has a different way they worship, and this is my way of worship. And it has, you guys, I can't even tell you, it has changed my spiritual walk. So, it's been so awesome. And my husband loves it. He comes around the corner and he can see me in my little corner journaling with some hill song playing or something like that. It's, it's like my quiet time. It's perfect quiet time. I enjoy doing it. If you're creative like me, then you love to get involved in some paint and all kinds of stuff. Okay. Alright, so, I'm going to... Go ahead and start. Yeah, actually, guys, if you will, swipe 
your finger on your screen from left to right and then invite any of your friends that you think would be interested. There should be a little thing when you swipe that says um, share to followers or something like that. If you'll do that, perfect. We got some people joining in. Oh my goodness, lots of people. Okay, y'all are making me nervous now. Thank you, Adrian Tweets. It is a great form of worship. And like my husband loves to sing in the choir. This is my way of worship. So everybody has a different way they serve, the way they worship. And this is mine. Hi, everybody. Lots of hearts. Okay, so if you want to double tap on the screen for hearts, you just do that. So awesome, guys. I can't believe this. Okay, so we're going to get started. And first off, I'm going to flip through my Bible. If you have questions, let me just say, if you have questions, um, you can ask me. If I don't see them, um, we can do kind of questions at the end. And I'll try to go through everything. I'm not going to be on here for very long, but I'll try to go through everything as quick as I can. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. There's like a delay on my like on the comments. So if, if I stop for a second, I'm reading everything. Nova Scotia. Oh, my goodness. Hi, I'm from the South, so you're probably going to love my accent, Betty Ann. Okay, so we're going to go through my Bible, and if y'all have questions, just ask me, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Um, first, this is my Bible. Let me show you this real quick. Let me wrap it up so you can see. This is my journaling Bible. I got it from um, Christian Books, actually, online, and I think they are sold out right now. Oh, UK. Oh, my goodness. London. Hi. I have been dying to go to London. Someday I will be there. Um... This is my journaling Bible. I love, love this Bible. It actually is fairly small, so it fits in my purse, which I love because I carry it to church, and I love to go to church and carry this in my purse, and it fits perfect. So, this is my Bible. It has like a little leather strap that wraps around. I'll show you. And with a journaling Bible, and this is my intro page. I'm going to show you all. Can you see that? So this is my intro page. I actually got this sticker from my mother-in-law. I'm not sure where she got it, but um, I put this here. I absolutely love this verse, and so I put that there. And this is an intro page, just kind of like showing it's your Bible. Um, I forgot who told me this or showed me this online, but I have started. I just did this. I'm gonna probably add more to it eventually, but I love black and white stripe, so of course I have that. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, got another photographer in here. So excited. Us photographers are creative ones and I love it. Okay, um, so I'm going to go through here and kind of show you a couple of my favorite pages. So this, can y'all see this page? Okay, this is actually with acrylic paints, which I will show y'all in just a little bit. Um, I absolutely love, love the acrylic paints. They're probably my favorite just because they're really bold in color. And they dry really fast. And I'll show you all that. And this is stickers. You know, all kinds of fun stuff. Let me flip through some of my favorite pages and show you. Now, if I skip over some, I'll explain why in just a second. This was my first, like, venture into watercolor. Um, watercolor took me a while to get used to because I'll, I'm not going to lie. It is a little hard at first if you're not used to paint. I am not the most artistic person, you guys. So... This has been lots of practice, but this was my first piece, and I was actually in the mountains in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. If anybody's been there, you know how beautiful it is. Um, and actually, my devotional that morning had this verse, and guys, I had to do the mountains. I was actually sitting on the porch doing this, and I had to put the mountains on there. So that is that one, and I love this verse, for the mountains may depart, and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you. That is an awesome verse, you guys. Let me show you this next one. Let me pull this out real quick. So this is watercolor too. This is a different form. This is just like watercolors blended together. If you can, I hope y'all can see that. I kind of turn it up a little bit. Um, I used some stamps, which I'll show you in just a little bit, and some stickers. This is really simple to do. It looks like a lot, but it's really not. Um, you just kind of blend in some watercolors. Use your stamps. You're done. It probably took me 30, 45 minutes. And I made this. Shout out to um, Taz and Belly, Kristen Fields, who taught us on her Periscope how to make tassels. And if you see that, I made that and I loved it. So thanks to her and her Periscope. You need to follow her. It's uh, Taz and Belly is her account. She's really sweet. Gotten to know her. She's really awesome. 
Okay, let me see. This is another watercolor. You can see once I started loving doing watercolors, I ended up doing them a whole lot more. Um, I kind of did a technique here. It didn't really turn out that well. So you're going to see some of these are perfect and some of them have mistakes. But I love the ones with mistakes because it's just unique to me. But this one, um, I did watercolor. Did some stamps and some stickers. And I actually put some watercolor on the page and used a um, straw and blew it out on the page. And it turned out really cool. I kind of like the look of that. So I ended up leaving it. Some people probably wouldn't like that. I loved it. Let me show you. Now I'm still filling up this Bible. So I've got some empty pages, which obviously I want to end up filling it up as much as I can. And then start with a new Bible. Um, and just if you're wondering, the margins are probably about oh, an inch, inch and a half. Thank you, Rachel. And so you want a Bible that has some, every Bible has different margins. This one's a little bit wider. Though it's a small Bible, it has pretty wide margins, and I love it. My husband has a journaling Bible. He didn't, obviously didn't use it for paint, but his has really, really wide margins. And I think I got his at uh, Lifeway. Um, you can go online. I know a lot of places that are selling out of them. But if you, I did see some on Amazon the other day. Um, actually, because I was going to, probably going to end up giving me another one because I have started to fill this up. Starting to do full pages. Yeah, you know, it scared me too. Um, a lot of people wonder if I can see the words. Obviously, some part of this I cannot. You can see like right here, I can't see the words. But everything else through here, I can. And if there's something that's covered, like if I'm in church or something, I can't read it. I'll just pull up the verse on my phone, like on the Bible app or something. Um, everybody's different. I would suggest if you do, add lots of water to your paint. Make it real thin. So that way you can still read what you're doing. Oh, Goodwill, that's awesome. Yes, thank you, Rachel. And I'll show you, I'll kind of tell you guys when I get to the paints in just a second how you just add lots of water so you can still read. Obviously, I would love to still read my Bible. That's the whole point of it, isn't it? But um, this to me is bringing the verses that God has laid on my heart, you know, to light. And this, I still want to be able to read. So this one right here, you can see that was a verse for the day. Yes, I love this color too. It's my favorite. And the topic that I got out of this was strength. Um, and so just like strength, you know, to get through the bad times and have peace and he gives you peace and comfort. So that was, that's why I did strength right there. I actually used, um, scrapbooking paper and cut the letters out and then I just kind of drew around them. That's all I did for that. This one, this is probably my second entry, I think. Possibly. Um, this is actually, we had a women's conference at our church and um, it's talking about the lavish love of Jesus and how much he loves us. No, I did not do anything to prep the pages. I know a lot of people do. Um, I did not adjust the pages. You know, I have not had a ton of bleeding problems, like bleeding through pages. Um, now, I do have some occasionally, and I'll show you. Like this one right here, you can probably see it bled through just a little bit. But honestly, if I'm gonna color this page at some point, I'll use a color similar to that, so it'll cover it. So I guess it just depends on what you want to do. I do not just so I'm not really that particular about it, but you can. And I know like Hobby Lobby and all those places have just so that you can buy. So back to this. This was actually a, some from the bulletin um, at the church. I just cut it out to make a tab. It wasn't perfect, but I loved it because this is an awesome event. And shout out to our church for an awesome women's event for that one. Okay. Let me, this one, <laughs> this one I have not finished. I went to do it, um, gosh, probably a week ago, and I have not finished it. I was wanting to do some calligraphy right here with a verse, but I did, uh, I had something I had gotten. I cut these out, I think it was like an invitation to a party or a wedding or something. Um, I actually, I went to the wedding, so don't worry. Um, but I cut that out for the border. And I just did some, this is acrylic paint. This is really just a lot of, yes, yeah, it's very vintage. Thank you, Mom. I know you love that one. <laughs> you know, my mom's like an interior decorator at heart, and so she loves anything vintage and real rustic looking. Um, anyways, <laughs> this paint is probably my favorite color. And let me see. Here it is. It's the Liquitex Heavy Body Acrylic. Can you see that, guys? It is a um, light portrait pink. Let me see if I can see that. Oops, sorry. 
yes this paint is amazing i got this at hobby lobby let me tell you it's not cheap any of these Li liquitex paints but if you download the app and get you can get like 40 percent off and i'm on there like probably once a week looking at what sales they have use your coupons ladies like it's perfect use your coupons and you can get i think this is like six dollars with coupon 40 percent off i mean it's a few dollars off it's perfect i've got some other colors you can see can y'all see this i love these colors michaels oh we don't have a michaels here so jealous we have a hobby lobby and a joann's which i go in there probably once or twice a week i think they know my name now <laughs> We did not have a Michaels. We need it. Yes, my mother agrees. We, that's my mom, y'all. Mama Mitzi. She agrees we need a Michaels. I love it. Okay. So, let me show you a couple more pages, and then we'll go through the supplies real quick. This is another page. Uh, I did the ombre look on this. Love the ombre paint. Uh, super, super simple, you guys. I, if, what I'll probably do is, y'all, if y'all are interested, later on, I will do a... Um, a uh, broadcast in a few weeks or a day or two or whatever and do the ombre paint because it is so simple and I know it looks so difficult but it's not at all so I'll show you how to do that anybody can do this and that's the thing anybody can do Bible journaling you just gotta know how to do it thank you I love the ombre too and this is actually that same pink that same pink and I have a red paint let me pull it out hang on this is another type of paint that I use it is actually from Joann's this one right here this is Martha Stewart craft paints. Now, some people are really particular about using craft paints. I have not had a problem with them yet. I love them. Actually, they're cheaper. So, I just bought actually a whole case of pastel colors in the same brand in the gloss of cra uh, craft paint. And it's like a pack of 10 online. I got a 50% off coupon at Joann's. Actually, I think it should be delivered tomorrow. I'm really excited about that. But go to joann's anywhere else they carry this i'm not sure where else they carry this brand but i love this stuff i've got probably gosh 10 colors of this color of this brand love it good brand okay a couple more this one right here which you probably saw at the intro this was paint and then stickers love love stickers does a high gloss make it shiny no not really and actually i'll tell you why it does not I add lots of water to this paint, um, to this paint right here. I always add water in any paints I use, especially acrylic paints, because if you don't, it's going to go on super thick and it's not going to be, you're going to be able to read through it. So I usually do that and um, add some water, mix it in, and then just, and if you get too much on there, just add water to the page and keep, you know, blending it out and it'll, it'll eventually blend. And guys, if I'm talking too fast, just tell me to slow down because I do that sometimes. And I'm a little nervous, I'm not going to lie. I'm not used to doing this. So here's the other page. Y'all saw this. Uh, this is a little tab that I made. Can y'all see that? Do any of the pages curl up? You know, sometimes with the watercolor, thank you so much. Sometimes with the watercolor, they will. But what I do is after they dry, Rachel, I will just shut my Bible and let them sit for a while. <laughs> You know, my dad's already bored. He's going to get a shower. Thanks, Dad. Love you, too. Do you have a Bible preference? Oh, y'all, this... Okay, let me tell you. I've always been an NIV Bible kind of girl. But when I started trying to find a journaling Bible after I got married in May, um, I could not find a journaling NIV version. So this is actually ESV, and I'm going to tell you, I absolutely love it. I love... The wording is a little bit different than NIV, obviously. But for me, just studying the word, it's that, I don't know, it's kind of dr more dramatic and it's more emphasis on the words. And so I love, this is ESV, I love it. Oh, I did too, Rachel. Love it. I probably honestly will not go back to NIV. Now, if I'm looking at something else and I need a different translation, I'll get on the Bible app and find like NIV version if I don't completely understand it. But um, just a little tip. This right here is paint and this is just, handwriting my handwriting is not good so I am in the process of learning better how to do calligraphy and um, all kinds of other wording so bear with me on that one here's more paint this is a gold metallic paint which I love 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 this and this right here if you can see this is a paper clip and a little hang on it's a leather tassel I'll show you 
Oh, thank you, Rachel. These are um, leather tassels. You get these at Hobby Lobby, $3.99. They're in paper craft aisle. What I do is I actually, I found these, these, these pins, or paper clips at Target, and you just put them on there. So if like I do a pastel colored page and matches, I've got more of these, so there's, this is not the only ones, but you can kind of see, you just make like a little tab or tassel. You just put it on there, it's real simple. Okay, so I'm gonna shut my Bible and we're gonna go over, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go over some supplies and show you what I use. I've kind of gone over some of them, but y'all, I have a bunch of stuff. But I'm going to try to go through this as fast as I can so I don't keep y'all too long. Um, first thing, obviously the paint. We went over that. These are my favorites. Um, Martha Stewart again, metallics. I have not had a problem with these. So when you do your paints, like I said earlier, um, especially craft paints, add lots of water. Um, that's really big for me is I want to be able to read my words in my Bible and so adding water to these I'll actually just put them let me show you put them in like a little paint tray like this and just put a little squirt of paint and then add some water and you're good and then just get your brush the brushes I use y'all are really cheap like really really cheap um, these are just like two of them I think I got these at Hobby Lobby I get everything at Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby and Joann's um, I do not use expensive materials. Do you also have heavy water, water to heavy body? Yes, yes. Any paints I use, I add water. Yes, I would do that. And that way it just, it dries faster and you can read your, your Bible better. So these are the brushes I use. Let me show you. So you got some of the paints and I actually, let me show you this. I got these. What kind of cons consistency do you want with the Liquitex? Uh, just real thin. It almost, it has like a, I actually love the feel of paint after. Oh, thank you. Said it. Oh, Brooklyn. Hey, Brooklyn. I didn't realize who that was. Oh my goodness. Sorry. <laughs> Y'all, that is a friend of mine. She helped with our wedding in May. She's precious. I love her. Um, I just want it thin so I can read the words. So I don't really know what the consistency of the feel of the paint is, but just add water so you can read it. And some people don't really worry about that. I would do that. It just helps everything dry. You can read your Bible and that's just, you know, a lot better. All right, y'all Target. Oh my goodness, Target. They have a new craft doll. And I discovered this like Monday. I found these paints. I wasn't sure how they're gonna work. They're really, really bright. Um, I used them absolutely love them let me see if i can find that page i used in them hang on they're super super bright which i love i love the neon i don't know about y'all let me find it real quick give me just a second i do so many pages okay here it is now excuse my i did a stamp on here and i put the wrong stamp all right can you see that those are those paints it's like a pink and a yellow. Um, the yellow is a little bit more lime green than I, than I thought it was going to be, but I love it. I love the bright color, and I can still read it. I added water to it, made it real thin, and then this is just washi tape. I mean, I use stamps, washi tape, and paint. That's all I use. Real simple, and I'll show you all my stamps. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry, Mom. Uh, my husband's playing with our dog in the background, so if you hear his toy, that's what that is. I apologize. We got a new puppy uh, Monday night, so he is he's 10 weeks old and two pounds and itty itty bitty okay so let me go over some other supplies let me move these other way in a second if y'all have questions just keep asking so I'm trying to trying to watch the screen while I do this so I can read your questions and help you out because that's what I'm here I'm want to help everybody so they can start learning um we do not have a lot of people in Jackson in Tennessee where I live that are um, doing this yet so I'm hoping to get our community on board and get some classes started at some point that's my goal okay watercolors this is my watercolor set um, sorry the camera I can't see where the camera is uh, this is it this is literally I think it's simply art from Joann's or Hobby Lobby it's like four dollars y'all super cheap really simple to use um, Tip with watercolor too, like you do the craft paint, add lots of water. Um, and the more water you add, the easier it is to use. Now, if you don't add a lot of water and you put them on a page in your Bible, you're gonna get like, you know, lots of pigment and lots of color. 
Oh, you live, oh, okay, we should totally do that. I'm trying to get, I don't know where or when, but uh, I'm thinking about doing a workshop and just doing a free workshop for women here and whoever wants to get involved to learn about Bible journaling. So I'm glad to hear that there's somebody else from Tennessee. Yes, Rachel, I will do a Periscope where I do a page. Um, I'll probably start with craft paints first since everybody loves those so much. So, uh, and the watercolors too, those are so fun. So if y'all want to see a Periscope with some paint, just tap me some hearts so I can see. Um, if anybody wants to see anything, just keep tapping. Okay, we got some. Good, good, good. Okay, awesome. Yay, yay, good. Okay, so I'll kind of figure out what I'm going to do and we'll uh, think of a periscope I can also do. Perfect. Okay. All right, so these are the watercolors. I would go to Michael's, Marshall's, or Marshall's Hobby Lobby, um, you know, anywhere you can find watercolors. These are, y'all, these are so cheap. And let me show you this. I just found this. Uh, Taz and Belly use this, and I absolutely love it. It is a, um, can you see that? It is a water brush. And what this is, it just has a little tip, and it's it's like a wet water brush. Let me get a card stock, and I'll show you how you use it real quick. Okay. So what you do, it has water in the barrel right here. Um, I got this at Hobby Lobby for... It's a little more expensive. I use my coupon the 40% off, but I think it's like six, seven dollars. Um, and what you do is just, just kind of get a color, get real wet, just get lots of water in there, and then you just do it like that. And this is really good if you want to do the ombre look. So if I wanted to like blend a different color, um, hang on a second, let me go grab my paper towel. Hang on, y'all. And all you do to clean this up is just wipe it on a paper towel like that really simple okay so i'm gonna do a different color so you can kind of see let's do the green we'll just see how this looks um and you just kind of blend it blend it in and the more water you add the better it blends i love this this is really good if you are using stamps and you want to like fill in a space that's really small because this is a very very fine tip of this pen and so i love it Good hearts, I love it. You, you've got to get this. If you use watercolors, I highly suggest you buy this. It's great. How do you sell what page to journal from your devotional or just open the Bible up and go? Oh, good question, good question. Um, I'm usually doing a devotional. That's how I pick. Now, every once in a while I'll go to church and our you know pastor will have a verse that really sticks to me or it's laid on my heart and I'll just go home and do that. Or maybe lyrics, you can do lyrics, you can do quotes, you know, whatever you want. But right now, I'll show you who all has heard of Illustrated Faith. Just give me some hearts if you've heard of them. Yes, y'all, amazing company. Shannon Noel is awesome. I haven't met her before, but I would love to. So this is the devotional I'm doing right now. Can y'all see that? So what these are, these are kits. Illustrated Faith on Etsy. They actually are a company. If you go on their Etsy store, uh, she now they I don't know if they still have any in stock or not, but this is a devotional This is a, this is a topic of strength within her and what I do you can see Amy Hawthorne actually did this one And what's really cool about this is um, It's a short little devotional Like here's day one Yes, Rachel you have got to go get one and actually I'll show you all they come with stamps um, Let me pull those out. Hang on they come with stamps that you can use with these. And I think the one this one came with was, you know, just like it, here it is. You see this stamp right here? It comes with a stamp kit. I love stamps, y'all. They're so easy. If you have terrible hair not like me and you want a journal, stamps are the way to go. Yes, her Instagram is awesome. She, y'all, if you don't follow Illustrated Faith on Instagram, go do it as soon as this is over because they have lots of inspiration, lots of tips. Um, you can find lots of people on there that are journaling as well. It's really fun. But here, this, the stamp, the kit comes like with a Bible, like a devotional, and it comes with stamps, and then it comes with some little cards and like some fun little things that come with it. I think they're like twenty-two dollars for a kit, maybe. Um, I may be wrong on that. Don't quote me on that. But I love it. So this is. I'm actually about to start this one. 
I just finished, I'll show you the one I just finished. Y'all probably seen this one, Bloom. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, absolutely amazing. Ladies, if you are just starting journaling, I'd highly suggest you get two of these, or some of these. Hang on just a second. I think my husband's about to leave. Okay. So, these are, so I'm, what I'll do is I'll just pull a verse and I'll show you, actually, if you see, uh, like this one has prayer verses. And it says, bring it to the margins. And so, you can kind of get your ideas together right here. Write down what you want to do for your journaling. And then you can take this, one of these verses or whatever's laid on your heart and then illustrate it in your Bible. Really awesome. Love it. Um, let me put those aside. And then I'll show you. Actually, I'm going to show you these real quick. These are my devotional. These are what I write in. Um, hang on a second, guys. Okay, these right here. These are amazing. If you're like me and you love to take notes in church or if you want to jot your notes down from all your devo devotionals so you can see kind of like how the Lord's growing you in your walk and your, in your quiet time. Um, these are great. I will show you. This one right here is called Give Me Jesus. This is by um, Life Live Beautifully. Uh, they're on Instagram. I think it's Gretchen Staffels is her name. A friend of mine knows her really well. She's from Tennessee. But, um, she makes these journals. They have them online. They actually just have either fall collection. Really pretty. Oh, I love her devotionals too. And what these are is this one right here in particular is just where you can write what your devotional is, like where you are when you're doing it. And you can just kind of break down your devotional. Yes, y'all should totally look her up. She's awesome. Um, it's Life Lived Beautifully. I can't say that really fast, but find them on Instagram or online. They're on Facebook too. <coughs> Excuse me. And just uh, look them up and you'll be able to get some of these. But I just jot my notes down for my devotional. Um, and then this one is just plain. Yes, she is on Periscope. Thank you. She does a devotional almost every morning. And me and my friends here talk about it. Um, I love to listen to her devotionals in the morning when I'm getting ready. Thank you for reminding me of that. I appreciate that. I almost forgot. Um, and then this is a just a basic journal. So you can see like my notes from church. This is where I write all my stuff down. Obviously, because I want to leave my Bible for journaling specifically. So this is where I keep my notes. And y'all, actually, I think somebody asked, how do I find a verse or what, how do I find something to journal? If I see a verse that I want to do, you'll probably see it. Hang on, let me show you. I'll be in, in the service and I'll make like a big block or like a star or something to help me remember what verse I want to journal. So that's just that right there. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm taking a while. I'm going to speed up a little bit. Pens. Okay. If you're going to start Bible journaling... You gotta have the right pens. That's the one thing I always tell people. Um, here is what I use. These are Prismacolor Premier markers. Um, some people use some other pens. I have found that I love these. Um, and the other pens I like to use too are from Illustrated Faith. These are pigmented pens. They're really, um, and actually this pack right here has different, there's, some are thicker, some are skinnier. There's one in here that's like, if you wanna do calligraphy, it's got that little tip, you know, where you can do that. This comes with, I think, seven. I actually am miss, I'm not missing one, but one is empty, so I threw it away. But um, And I also use these. These are just pens from Illustrated Faith from their Etsy shop. These are great for journaling. I have actually bought, like, four more. They do not bleed. I have not had problem. Now, can you watercolor over those and they not bleed? What I normally do is I will watercolor first and then I will do the pens on top. Sometimes I have a problem with them writing on top of watercolor. It just depends. Um, I have found actually that the Illustrated Faith pen does really well with writing over watercolors and paints. They Somehow they have made their pens where they didn't, they, I don't have any problems with them. Uh, Prisma colors are great. Um, I think some other people use... Stetler pens or something like that. Um, I may try those next. We'll just kind of see, but I love these. I have not had a problem with them. Um, I've actually been using them out pretty fast, so I'm going to have to get some at some point. So, love those. Okay. Other pens. Microns. Those are great, too. I actually saw those at Hobby Lobby, I think. 
Yes, yes, the Illustrated Faith Pen. If you need a good pen for watercolor and acrylics, you need to use the Illustrated Faith Pen. Um, that's why I bought so many more because I love them. I go through them like crazy. This is the Prismacolor Premier Marker. Oops, sorry, you can't see that. This is actually a shading pen. Um, got this idea from a couple other people online. I love it. It is um, dark, warm gray, 30%. And what it does is if you're like doing bubble letters and you want to do shadow to get that depth of field, this is 30% warm gray, if that's what you're asking. Um, I love this pen, and this actually has two ends. One is thicker, if you can see that. Sorry, I keep moving the, missing the camera. So it's a thicker end, and it's got a thinner end if you want to do like detail, set, or like real small end. Great pen. I got this off Amazon. Um, I think you can get them at Hobby Lobby. I keep looking to see what kind of pens they have, and I, I'm almost positive this is there. I cannot remember. Great, great pen if you want to do shadowing. And then this, y'all, this is so cheap. This is a Jelly Roll Uni Ball pen. <laughs> Hang on just a second, y'all. My husband's leaving. Bye. Give me a big wet sloppy kiss. Oh, okay. Okay. Love you. Love okay. you too. Sorry, ladies. Bye, My husband's leaving to go to work. He's got to go back to work. Works in the restaurant. Yeah, oh, a sticker on the end with a number like 110. Are you talking about on the Prismacolor pens? Like these right here? Yes, okay. Um, like I said, I'm missing one because one is empty. And um, so that's what I have. That's 0050108B05 and C are the ones I have. Oh, the shadow pens. Sorry, y'all. My phone is delayed so bad on here. Uh, PB101, is that what you need? Right there? Hopefully that's what you need. Um, I don't see, yeah, it's on that end too. You're welcome, okay, sorry. <laughs> I apologize, I was not sure what you're asking. I did not realize there's a number on the, on the side of those. Oh, sorry. Um, back to this pen. This is a white uniball pen. You get these like at any office store. Really cheap. Uh, I just use it for coloring in, shading, you know, whatever you want to use it for. Okay, let me go through a few more things real quick and I will answer any other questions you have. Okay, stamps. If you do journaling, you probably love stamps because I love stamps. These are all of my stamps, y'all. I've I kind of have an obsession with these. Um, I get these from Illustrated Faith, again, online. And what these do, let me grab my stamp block to show you. And the ink I use is the Stazon, the Stazon, Stazon, whatever you call it, Jet Black. This is the only one I have. I love this color because it goes with everything. Um, but what you do, I'll show you real quick. And y'all, my husband just left, so if there is a dog barking, I apologize because we have a puppy and he needs to be held every second. So now that he's gone, he's actually in my feet. <laughs> he's sitting right here waiting for me to hold him. Okay, so what I do is this is a Stamp Abilities Clear Block from Hobby Lobby. It's got ink on it, but what you do with these stamps is they stick. So you just stick them onto a block like that, and then you get your ink. This is my ink right here. It's like a little ink pad. You get it at Hobby Lobby. Um, you just stick it. You just kind of rub ink on it like you would any other stamp. And then all you do, I'm going to actually do it over the watercolor. Yes, I will I will show you a couple more pages if you want. I, I'm actually probably going to do a Periscope um, later on showing more paints, like how to actually use the paints and everything. Today I'm kind of just going over like the supplies I use and what I like to use and um, how to use them. Just like brief introduction. But y'all can see that's the stamp. Um, this is an alpha letter stamp. I love it. They illustrate faith goes through these like crazy. Um, but you can see it dries. It goes on top of watercolor. It goes on top of paints. And so you just stick them on there. I'm going to put it back on there real quick. Love the stamps. And they have different ones like this one right here says... The stamp, stamps, oh no, they're actually, Rachel, they're from Illustrated Faith. Um, go find them on Etsy. I'll send you a link if I need to. Um, and they have all these stamps. They have like little stamp kits. Yes, they're awesome. Now, the stamp ink and the stamp block, I got at Hobby Lobby. Uh, I'll show you those again. Hang on. 
this is a stamp block this just holds the stamp on there and then the stamp ink let me put this back in there this is the ink this is stays on stays on gosh y'all i can't say it right i'm sorry stays on jet black this is in the stamp aisle of hobby lobby and i think i'm not sure how much it is love that ink so the stamps they've, they've got all kinds um they've got some with just fun little objects you can use for your journaling um i just got this one this is one of their newer ones i can't figure out hang on there you go this is their newer one it's almost like a calligraphy style um stamp set it's really awesome hi I'm not sure who all is. We still got people in here. Good. I'm talking so fast and probably boring you all to death. I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna. I promise you, I'm getting to an end at some point. Um, but these are the stamps. So if you don't have any stamps, I recommend you go get some too. If you're gonna start out Bible journaling, I would get the pens, get some stamps, play with those for a little bit, and then try some paints when you get comfortable. Um, paints are fun. But you need to be more comfortable. You know, get some craft paper or like some stock paper and practice on those if you want. Those are great. Okay, one more thing. Markers. Love these. Who else has these? I absolutely love these markers. Uh, these are Tim Holtz Distress Markers. They um, are like watercolor markers. And what's really cool, let me take them out. You have to store them horizontally because they will dry out. And I'm hoping mine are still good. I try to remember to keep them stored the right way. Uh, let me. They have two different tips on the ends. And you just... Do you like that? Let me show y'all. Okay, so I saw this tutorial on YouTube the other night and I loved it. So that, you could leave it like that if you wanted to, but these actually react to water, which I did not know this until the other day. And you can get your water pan that you have and just keep blending it. Isn't that cool? Obviously, I put a lot of ink on there, so um, it'll probably take a little bit to dry. But these are great. These are at Hobby Lobby, they're on Amazon. They're ex a little expensive, not gonna lie. I bought these and I haven't bought any more since because they're they're pretty pricey. They're like, oh gosh, twenty thirty dollars I think. Again, use your coupons. If you get them at Hobby Lobby, use your coupons. That's what they're there for. They have like a forty percent off coupon that is great. So those are those. Okay, a few more supplies and we'll almost be done. No, they do not bleed through. Now I will tell you to help from stuff bleeding through. If any of y'all do journal. Um, you've probably seen, hang on, I can't pick it up, my nails. Here we go. This mat, this is a Illustrated Faith, again, love their stuff. This is a mat that you put under your pages to help protect. And you can see it's got paint all over it. That's from just previous times I've painted with it. And you can put it on either side of your Bible. And what it does, it just protects from anything bleeding through. I actually keep this under my pages when I am writing or doing any kind of you know anything with pens or paints if you if you're going to do it you need to get you a mat um i just got this you can use like hard stock paper real thick paper if you wanted to you don't have to use this you can use some you know random object to keep it just but like a piece of paper or something like that will be fine okay whoo y'all there's a lot of stuff okay tabs tab punches who all has one of these Give me some hearts if you have one. I love this. This is a tab punch, and what this does is it just makes tabs. You can see the little outline right there of what it does. Um, when you Bible journal, they suggest, you know, they or not suggest, they tell you if you want to, to mark your pages. Oh, good. I'm glad you have one. So if you do, um, what you do is you mark your pages and you use tabs. And so this is great to make tabs with. Yes, I can. Show me the Bible again. Yes, I'll show you my Bible real quick. And Rachel, I will show you how to use a tab. Actually, I'll show you what it looks like. Here is my Bible. And it has like a little letter wrap around. I got this from Christian Books online, I think is what it's called. Um, they're sold out right now, from what I remember. Uh, I love this Bible. It's it's so, y'all, this is probably my favorite Bible I've had growing up. Um, it's very, it's actually smaller so it fits in my purse. I love it. That's why I love it. I can just carry it with me anywhere. Let me show you a good tab. Okay. Like right here. See this tab? 
I used that tab punch and I put some stickers and some washi tape. That's all I did, y'all. And it just made a really cute tab for me to, to mark this page. I love this page. Um, this is talking about, you know, this is actually from the devotional from Illustrate Faith, blooming where we are planted and growing and what the Lord has us in and how he wants us to serve in the position we're in. So I thought serve was appropriate in that one. I absolutely love it. Yes, I love it. So glad y'all like that. Uh, Rachel, let me show you how you do a tab punch real quick. Okay, so this actually goes into my next supply, which will go into the tab punch. I just get cardstock paper. Um, Target, Hobby Lobby, anywhere you want to get these. They're great. Um, I, what I do is you just find some like scrap looking paper. I'm going to show you. I'm just going to use a stripe one real quick because I'll probably use it later on. So all you do, Rachel, is you stick it in there. And I'm going to lay it down so it doesn't mess up. Can y'all see this? Okay. And you just punch it down. Nah, it just comes right out. So it's a little tab to tab your Bible with, uh, your pages. I love it. It's great. And you just stock up on paper. Again, Hobby Lobby has sell on all their paper crafting stuff, like their, all the paper and everything. Yes. Isn't it cute? I love it. And then you can pick whatever paper you want. I actually found this at, uh, I want to say Target or Hobby Lobby. Um, really cute papers. Look at this, y'all. This is a book. Stripes. Again, I love stripes. Y'all know me. And so you can just use these for making tabs. They're great. The tab punch is at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think it's like, y'all help me remind me. I think it's like $10, $15 maybe. Um, I, I use a coupon Hobby Lobby app. Download on your phone, 40% off. Perfect. It's, it's, it's a great little tab punch. So make sure you use your coupon when you do it. And what you can do, yes, Joann's a Michael's. See, we don't have a Michael's. We need a Michael's. Oh, my goodness. Joann's. I have not seen them at Joann's. I actually went and looked at Joann's to find one, and they did not have it here. Um, so I went to Hobby Lobby and got it. And I'll show you how I get these tabs to stick. Hang on. I can't pick up my piece of paper. Amazon. Oh, Y'all, Amazon's great, isn't it? I have to stay off Amazon. <laughs> okay, so what this is a tape roller. I don't know what you call it. My stick. Um, all you do is it has tape on the edge. And so to get these to stick, if I don't use washi tape, I will just roll this on there. Hang on. Make sure I got this working right. You just roll it. Tear it off. And if I can pick it up. And it just has some little tape on there. And you just stick it on your Bible. And it just sticks. That's all you do. Really simple, or you can use washi tape, which is my next thing. I'll show you lots, lots, and lots of washi tape. Oh, love it! I can't ever have enough. This is like a third, not even a third of what I have. Hang on, I'll show you what all I've got. Here's all my washi tape. Oh, I'm still adding to my collection, and I absolutely love it. I just wherever I find some, like in stores locally, I just buy whatever I can. Target has started carrying washi tape, you guys. Oh, that's so cute. Scotch actually makes this one. Um, it's little stripes. It's so cute. I haven't even used that yet. See? Um, washi tape is so fun to use. You can put it on the bottom of the page. You can, you know, put it wherever. Get your tabs to stick. Um, like, I'll show you. What I do is I just tear off. You know, I don't have nails, so I have to, like, work really hard to get this tape. Oh, Dollar Tree. Yes, I have Dollar Tree. We have a bunch of Dollar Trees around here. I need to go look. That's a good tip. Thank you for that. So, see, you can just stick that washi tape right on there. And that actually can help, too, um, help, you know, help the tabs stick to your Bible pages. So, okay. Let me see if there's anything I haven't shown y'all. I feel like I've gone through this so fast. Um, stickers, I just get at Hobby Lobby, other places. Oh, they hang them on clip strips. Oh, that's a good thing. Okay, I did not know that. I did not know Dollar Tree has washi tape. That's that's dangerous. I may go spend like $20 for 20 rolls of washi tape. <laughs> Which I love Dollar Tree, y'all. So good. Uh, Twine. You probably saw earlier. Yeah, washi tape is hard to find. It is 
it's like a hit or miss, but Target started carrying it and I love them. Have you used Neo color crayons? No, I have not, but that is on my wish list is to get some like gelato watercolor crayons. Um, there's some on Amazon that I really want. Yes, Target. Again, love Target. But I want, I need to tell my husband that there's some washi, not washi, uh, watercolor, you know, pencils. They're not pencils, they're like gelato crayons. I really want those. Okay, twine. I love twine. Um, I've got lots of it, and I'll show you why I love it. Um, if you weren't here earlier, you probably didn't see that you can make bookmarks out of these. If you can see my little tab right there, my little bookmark. Isn't that cute? I love it. And um, all it does, it just bookmarks my page. But it's really fun to have kind of hanging out of your Bible. Uh, let me find where... I used a little cheap little like card from Hobby Lobby and I made this twine. Um, go again, Taz and Belly. She's wonderful, y'all. She's so sweet. She has an Instagram. She has a blog, a Facebook page. It's Taz and Belly. T-A-Z and Belly. Um, I don't know if she's on here right now. But she teaches, she has a Periscope video that teaches y'all how to make these tassels. And that's actually what I used. I had my little YouTube out, my camera and YouTube out the other day making these, and I love it. And so I use all this twine. I found this in Marshalls. I mean, I was checking out the other day and I found this $2.99 for this black and white stripe, you know, twine. I love it. It's perfect. So anywhere you find, I mean, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, I've heard sometimes they have stuff, and I've found some stuff there every once in a while. I just kind of go through and look for fun. Uh, Adrian tweets, her periscopes are great. She's so sweet. I've gotten to know her a little bit. Um, shout out to Kristen. Thank you for helping us. I've, I learned a lot from her. I'm going to give her a lot of credit for that. Can you Instagram, Facebook, some of the people you've mentioned? Yes, I will try to do that. Um, Taz and Belly. I'm trying to think of anybody else I've mentioned. Yes, it was. Thank you. I could not remember that. Illustrated Faith, y'all, if you haven't seen them on uh, Facebook or Instagram yet, you need to go look at them because they, they have a blog and they will feature certain artists, you know, people just like me that will journal and um, they'll actually do a big, like Paris or a big blog post of their journaling. And so they'll do that. The journal name too. The journal. Oh, Life Lives Beautifully. Hang on. Let me find. Right here. Can you see that, Rachel? Life lived beautifully. Yes, they have an email list for Illustrated Faith. Y'all just go to Google, search Illustrated Faith. You'll find their website. They have a like a email blast that they send out that has tips and you know all kinds of products that they have in stock on their Etsy shop. I think I order something from them like every week. Don't tell my husband. He gets used to seeing like packages come in the mail with like from Illustrated Faith because I order so much stuff and I love I love their company. I love what they do. So of course I'm gonna support them for what they do and all of that. Alright, ladies, let me see if there's anything else that I'm missing. Um Yes, thank you for putting that on there. Does anybody have any questions? I have gone through this so fast, I feel like. Um, we've been on here an hour. Oh my goodness, y'all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> if y'all have any questions, just throw those out real quick and I'll try to answer them as fast as I can um, and kind of help you out. Again, I apologize. This is my, my technically my first Periscope. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Thank you so much, y'all, for listening. It means a lot to me. Uh, my husband has been encouraging me to do this and my friends. Um, they just can see the passion that I have for this Bible journaling. And like I said, our community has not jumped on it yet here. I know we have some women, like my friend Rachel, that's actually in here that um, probably wants to join and do it. Yes, it, <laughs> it does go quick. I think when you're doing something you really are passionate about and enjoy, it just flies by before you know it. Um, and I can't believe my puppies have been so quiet, by the way, y'all. I'm so excited for them. Show Rebel. Oh, okay, hang on. Give me a Rebel. I'm going to get my dog. Hang on, y'all. Now, the camera is looking down, so I'm going to try to flip him upside down so you can see him. He is two pounds. He's a little Shizu. Hang on. I don't want to drop him on the paint. Say hello, everybody. That's Rebel. Any precious? 
Say hi. Y'all, he's so sweet. He's a little booger. He is a Shizu. He is, um, <laughs> he's just looking at me. He, he loves to be held, y'all. He's like a baby. He just loves to lay there and be held. Oh, hey, Starla. I did not even know you were in here. Thank you for joining. Um, Rebel is 10 weeks old. He is two pounds. He is a Shizu. So he's precious. He is our little booger. Hey, girl. Okay, I'm gonna put Star. I'm gonna put Star. I'm gonna put uh, Rebel up. Hopefully, he won't get in anything while mommy's not looking. Okay, guys. Well, again, like I said, I will probably end up periscoping again. Um, what I'll do is do some acrylic paints and some watercolors and show you all how to do that. Is there any other questions before? Oh. Photo shoot, oh, I actually didn't have a shoot tonight, Starla. For y'all, if you don't know, I'm a photographer. Uh, that Starla Photography is a friend of mine from here. Um, we stay busy in, in the fall. That's our busy season. We have, I think, a photo shoot like every night. And I actually did not shoot on Wednesday nights so I can spend time with my family and I can edit. So, I didn't have anything tonight. I didn't have to book anything. <laughs> is there any other questions y'all have? Just pop those up real quick. If you don't, I'll let you all go. And enjoy the rest of your night. Everybody good? Okay. All right, ladies, everybody, thank you so much for uh, tuning in to listen to me. Um, I will talk to y'all soon. And I'm going to save this on YouTube. I'm actually going to download it on YouTube. And I will post that on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's um, at Meg Shaw Photo. So it's actually Meg Shaw and then add photo at the end. And I would love to have y'all. All right, guys. Y'all have a great night. Bye.